Did you know Windows 11 has a light version with absolutely no bloatware and no complex requirements? In this video, you will see a Windows 11 version meant for old computers. The Windows 11 LTSC version. The Windows 11 version I am talking about is the Enterprise Long-Term Servicing Channel, LTSC. It is designed for Internet of Things devices, such as POS machines, ATMs, and other devices. It has no bloatware, not even Copilot, and that's the reason it runs perfectly even on older hardware with the least system requirements. Also, Microsoft doesn't have strict requirements for this version, like TPM, Secure Boot, and other things. It is designed to run on devices for a life cycle of 10 years, meaning it is supposed to run on older devices. So, if you have an old PC with the least system requirement, let's say, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 1 gigahertz of processor, and 16 gigabytes of storage, you can install and run Windows 11 Lite version. You don't need UEFI, TPM, and Secure Boot, although it is recommended, but you can run Windows 11 without these things also. It will ask you for a Microsoft account during the setup, but you can skip that also with a simple trick, which we will show during the installation. You can download its ISO from the Enterprise LTSC page. Visit the link in the description. Here, click on this, Download Windows 11 IoT Enterprise LTSC. You will see this form for registering for a free trial. Fill it up. You don't need to fill it accurately. It is not going to verify anything. Click on Download Now. Here on the next page, you will see two versions. One is for ARM architecture, and another one is for AMD. So let's get this one, click on it, and the download will start. The size of the download is usual as a Windows 11 ISO should be. Once it's downloaded, you can directly load it and run the setup to install or burn it on a USB drive to make it a bootable drive if you plan to install it on another device. Here I am going to download a tool named Rufus to create the bootable USB drive. It's simple and easy. Let's download its portable version and run it. Click Yes in the UAC pop-up. Now insert your USB drive. It will show here. Then click on this Select button, Browse, and select the downloaded ISO. If you are going to run this Windows 11 on a PC that supports UEFI BIOS, then you can select this GPT option, but if your system is older and it doesn't have UEFI BIOS, then select MBR. After selecting all the options, click on the Start button, and then you will see these options. With Rufus, you can bypass the Windows 11 minimum requirements conditions, but with this Windows 11 LTSC version, there isn't any. So we will deselect these options and click OK. Now here it will warn you that all the data in your USB drive will be destroyed once you click OK, so make sure there isn't anything valuable. Click OK and it will create the bootable USB drive. Once it does, restart and boot your system with it. Once you boot your system with the USB drive, you will reach the Windows 11 setup screen. Here you can select the language and time format. Click on Next. Here note that this version is only for fresh installation. It will delete all the files, apps, and settings on your hard drive. You have to agree on that and click Next. Now read and accept the license terms. Then you will see the disks in your system. You can create partitions if you want, or choose the partition on which you want to install the OS at this screen. I am going to use the whole disk, so click Next. The setup shows what it will do. Install Windows 11 LTSC Evaluation and keep nothing. Click on the Install button. This is going to take some time, so I will fast forward this for you. After the installation, you will see the welcome screen. Here, select the country or region and click Yes. Choose the keyboard layout. Skip here. Here it is, looking for the updates and then restarts the system. It will ask for a Microsoft account after the installation. If you want to skip that, you will have to disconnect the internet, simply plug out the ethernet cable, or turn off the Wi-Fi hotspot and restart your system. Here it is asking you to connect to the internet. Simply click on, I don't have internet. Then on the next screen, it will ask you for a username, skipping Microsoft account. Enter it. Here, choose the privacy settings for your device. I am going to deselect everything and accept. 
This is the time when it will look for updates and install them. Since we have disconnected the internet, it's not going to take much time. If you want, you can connect the internet at this spot. After completing everything, you will see the Windows 11 desktop. Here you can see it is showing Windows isn't activated. It's because I haven't connected it to the internet. Let's do that. And it's activated for 90 days. It's because it's an evaluation copy. If you look at this start menu, it has absolutely nothing, only a few icons, File Explorer, Settings, and Microsoft Edge. That's it. In the All Apps section, you can find a few other essential tools, like a calculator, notepad, paint, snipping tool, and Windows Backup. So this Windows 11 Lite version is working perfectly fine, and it can be helpful to you on your older PCs, but, but there is a catch. The license, Windows 11 LTSC version, is available only through volume licensing, and that is for enterprises, and big corporations only. I have seen some people working on the license with some tricks, but that would be illegal, so I can't show you that. But you can always use Google. Don't forget to comment down on your views on this Windows 11 Lite version. That's it for this video. We will see you in next.